the United States developed the military Humvee based on the experience of the Vietnam War, and since its service in the late 1980s, it has participated in numerous U.S. military operations. This new type of equipment has received a lot of praise and has even influenced the design concepts of many countries' light armored vehicles, such as the Italian Ivico LMV. The Ivico LMV, developed by Ivico around 2000, was tested, put into production, and entered service in the early 21st century. Like the military Humvee, it is a light multi-purpose vehicle, and a civilian version has also been developed. Although the vehicle is not as well known, its export has been very successful, with the vehicle being used by the armies of more than a dozen countries. The basic structure of the Iveco LMV is similar to the military Humvee, but the company offers two versions with wheelbases of 3.2 meters and 3.5 meters. The shorter wheelbase version can accommodate a driver and three additional passengers, while the longer 3.5 meter version has a larger cargo space and can accommodate an additional row of seats, making it more suitable for modification into command vehicles, ambulances, and other models with larger space requirements. The driver's cab is equipped with an Ivaco F1D turbocharged diesel engine, producing approximately 190 horsepower, and is paired with a six-speed automatic transmission. The front wheels for steering are equipped with power-assisted devices. The vehicle operates in all-wheel drive mode, is equipped with blast-resistant tires, independent suspension, and has a high ground clearance suitable for off-road mobility. However, the armored vehicle does not have amphibious capabilities and can only wade through water up to 0.7 meters deep without preparation and up to 1.2 meters deep with preparation. The Ivaco LMV can reach a maximum highway speed of approximately 130 kilometers per hour and its fuel tank capacity can support a range of 500 kilometers. The vehicle is also equipped with a winch for rescue or self-recovery. Designers have focused on the protection capabilities of the occupants. The basic armor of the vehicle can withstand attacks from 7.62 Nm rifle ammunition. The vehicle's underbody is designed with a V-shaped structure, and some components are designed to be easily destroyed by explosives. This is intended to sacrifice the vehicle as much as possible to preserve the lives of soldiers in the event of encountering landmines or other explosives. This design is similar to life-saving technology used in racing cars, and it is said that the Ivaco LMV can withstand detonation of up to 6 kilograms of explosives. The vehicle's armor is modular and can be replaced with a set of heavy armor if needed, which can withstand attacks from 12.7 mm ammunition. However, heavier armor will reduce the vehicle's mobility. As a light multi-purpose vehicle, the structure of the Ivico LMV is not as strong. The weapon mount on the roof can accommodate a 7.62mm machine gun, 12.7mm machine gun, or 40mm grenade launcher, as well as smoke grenade launchers. The weight and recoil of these weapons are relatively low. The long wheelbase version will also be equipped with portable anti-aircraft missiles. The largest user of the Ivico LMV is Italy with over 2,000 units in service. Other large users include the United Kingdom and Belgium, each with approximately 400 units, and even Russia has over 200 units. Different countries have different names for the vehicle. For example, the model produced under license in Russia is called the RISE, and it is referred to as M65E 4X4 LMV in Slovakia. In 2016, Iveco introduced the LMV2 armored vehicle with enhanced power and transmission, producing 220 horsepower, a payload capacity of 1.5 tons, and improved protection capabilities. It is expected that the LMV2 will gradually replace the older LMV in the future.